Hey everyone, and welcome to another HD tutorial. This one is going to be, by request obviously, you can see by the title up above, on how to use, and basically a tutorial on the program called Skype, which is basically, as you may already know, a over IP program, um, or application where you can actually call, um, and not, well you can actually call and have video conferences and chats with Skype users for free, um, and it's very, very quick to use. So here I'm going to show you how to use it. First thing you have to do is download Skype from Skype.com. I won't even put it in the oh, I'll put it in the description, but it's very very simple. Skype.com, and once you have it, you'll have a, a shortcut on your desktop, and just uh, drag it to your Rocket Dock or, or your shortcut down here, wherever you want to add it. Basically, just click on it to start it. And over here, as you can see, I already have a chat going with the person who actually requested the video, who was actually begging me to do the video. So um, I'll open up his YouTube. I'll I'll put his YouTube page in the description. Go check out his vids. He has about a dozen vids, and they're really good. So uh, this right now is the Skype chat application, which is very simple. And uh, demonstrating it, all you have to do, you can see you can insert emoticons. Um, you can change your logo. You can personalize your entire skin, as well as change a whole bunch of other things about Skype. So first of all, I'll get into chatting. All you have to do is type a t message. And he will get the message. And the next thing you will see is at the top, if he begins to respond, there will be a little pen drawing exactly. Well, it won't be drawing what he's writing, but it'll actually be drawing. Um, next, you can go into the actual Skype application just by double clicking it in your doc. Or not your doc. Oh, here you go. This is his response. Double question mark. <laughs> so, going into the actual Skype application when you open it, it's going to look like this. You'll have a file button, an account button, a call button, a chats button, a view toolbar, tools, and help. Now I won't actually go through the entire thing, but when you change your online status, it basically shows what people, how you show up in your contact list, which is right here. So here's the contacts tab. I have a lot of contacts that are not online right now, obviously, but right now he is online and I have Best Buy and Staples as two of my Skype contacts because I've called them already. If you want to add a Skype contact for texting them or um, video messaging them or anything at any time, just hit that little add button right there and type in their name. And sure enough, you'll find them in here. Obviously, there's a ton of people with the word name in their name. So yeah. Now... Another thing that I like to do with Skype is called calling. And I won't actually demonstrate Skype calling, but you just have to hit that button right there, that green cell phone looking button. And it, that's exactly what it'll do, it'll call that person. Now, if they don't have a built-in mic, it's not going to work very well, obviously. If they do have a built-in mic, then it'll open up their, their microphone and you'll actually get to talk to each other, just like you're on the phone. And I will actually do a a little review on Skype 4, which will show you how to upgrade that quality and upgrade the instantaneousness of chatting with someone, almost like they're really there. So I have dual microphones, so that's going to sound a lot better in Skype 3 and 4. So also under the File button, you can edit and personalize your profile, such as changing your avatar, which you see whenever I call you or when I'm in your contact list. So that is Omar's avatar right there, and you can click on the eye at any time to get his info. Also under tools, you can add a contact, search for other Skype users, and import contacts from other uh, instant messaging clients like AIM, Trillion, whatever you may use, Yahoo Messenger. Also a cool thing is you can send money by PayPal, send SMS messages. This is all just by the free, by the way, the free version of, of um, Skype. You can also buy uh, Skype credits to actually call landlines, to call other people's cell phones straight from your PC. But Skype to other Skype users is very, very simple, and it is completely free. The last thing I want to show you guys is how I personalize my page. So I'm going to go into here and hit the Personalize button, and I'm going to change my picture. Right now it's that MKB icon. All you have to do is go to Browse and find the picture you want, and then hit Open, and it will, that will be the picture. Or you can take a video snapshot using your webcam. That's a nice way to just set an actual picture of you as your uh, as your Skype logo. So, yeah, this is his status. Also, this button right here will open up video calling, which is a really nice feature. If you have a 
video, if you have a video camera or a web camera that you've hooked up to your PC or it's built in, and you have a microphone, then you can do video calls at any time. And um, obviously, I can't down, I can't um, I can't actually uh, demonstrate that for you guys. But here, it's version Skype version 3.8. I'm going to do a video on how to uh, upload or how to increase. Uh, how do I say this? On how to upgrade to version 4.0 of Skype. So. Basically, that is the basic overview of Skype, and again, his uh, YouTube page will be in the description, and go ahead and subscribe to his channel, and um, that's basically it, you guys. So, Skype is basically a really nice freeware feature, and again, I'll put the Skype.com link in the description, and you can download this. You can make conference calls, um, which means more than one person will be involved, or if they don't have a microphone, you can do conference chats, etc. So I really like the interface of Skype. You can send them files, you can send them contacts, you can send them all sorts of things. So I like this option. You can set, um, you can just, there's a whole ton of things you can do to customize Skype, and I'll definitely do another video on this. So guys, thanks for watching my HD tutorial. Hope you like it. If you have any other video tutorials or ideas, obviously at the top you see this was a request. There are tons of uh, things that I will do videos on if you request it. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.